comments, him clarifying as well. Okay, I, I did like what Romeo Cornell said, as we just heard. I made this point to Stephen A. yesterday. We've been in a lot of stadiums, a lot of arenas. When it goes quiet, if, if seven people cheered for Matt Castle being down, it echoes, and you say, oh, my God, this is a travesty. Seven out of 69,000 in that Arrowhead Stadium. But I think, even though I know Eric Winston, we've had him on the show, I like him. I said yesterday he's got a big heart. I think he overreacted to this and overstated the case because reading this piece by Sam Mellinger, the columnist of the Kansas City Star, and he's very clear on the fact that Many people started cheering because Brady Quinn trotted onto the field while Matt Castle was still down. They've all been cheering for the backup quarterback because Matt Castle has 13 turnovers in his last five games. It's been a big ongoing issue in Kansas City. So some people were simply cheering the, the, the trotting Brady Quinn as he entered the, the field. And in, in the end, Matt Castle finally got up and, and seemed okay, so a lot of people continued to cheer for Matt Castle's apparent health, that he was okay. So I think this is way overstated. I think Eric was caught up in the heat of battle. They have now fallen to one and four. They had some expectations before the year. I think this is completely overstated. And again, if it were seven people who did cheer Matt Castle on his back, when you combine alcohol with people and they, they've been in the parking so, lot that long and, and the tailgating, who knows what people, how irrational people will get. I think the whole thing is completely overblown. You know what? I, it was one of those moments like when you're in the supermarket and you hear over the loudspeaker, speak, mm -hmm. clean up on aisle six, yeah. you know, where basically he did overreact. And you know what? I think you get caught up in the moment and there's never 70,000. You're, you're never going to sit there and say everybody was cheering because somebody got hurt. And you're right. It was a mixed message. And we have to understand, fans or the word fan is derived from the word fanatic. So people are fanatical about their football team, about their quarterback, about their situation. And we all know the most favorite guy on any football team is the backup quarterback. Especially in right? this case. In that yep. situation. So I think Eric Winston, you're right, overreacted. Well, you know, in Houston, we used to have a quarterback by the name of David Carr. Mm. And uh, this guy did not. He was perform. on his back a lot. I'm yeah, he did not perform the way we wanted him to perform. I thought he was a mattress at yeah. one point. Yeah, at one point for several defensive players, he was a mattress. <laughs> if you needed a nap, just aim for David Carr. You'll have a nice soft place to land. But I think that, and you would see during these games, guys would, you know, every now and then, if Carr wasn't playing right and he'd get tackled and he'd get sacked back there, you'd have a couple of guys that would be like, yeah, good for him. Hope we can get rid of this guy and get a real quarterback. The reality is, is that no teammate wants to see his teammate get hurt. So I understand Winston's attitude yeah. on the situation. And I don't think he overstated it. I think sometimes in situations like this, you need to be emotional about it. It's important for people to know how you feel about these type of things. But emotional is different from, from casting blame on 70,000. That's your whole fan base. And then you have to answer those people. There were people who sat there who did not cheer that, who after hearing Eric Winston go, wait a minute. What, what are you well, saying? Let me yeah, chime in. That's true. Right? N yeah. n number one, when you mention the word loud, look in the mirror at that outfit. We'll <laughs> talk about that later. Let, 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 we'll just talk about that another time. I, like I, I knew we could get it. What are you it's talking about? It's not Halloween. It ain't Halloween and it ain't springtime, David. I mean, something's wrong with you. Let me move on. When you look at Eric Winston, I mean, I get where he's coming from because you're an athlete and you're expressing that kind of emotion. Um, I don't believe that he was wrong for reacting that way, but I don't agree with his assessment. I don't think he was talking about 70,000. I think his quote was right on the money. Whether it was 7,000, 700, whatever the case may be, nobody should be applauding an athlete being hurt. It was, dis in his eyes, it was disgusting. However, my contention yesterday, we didn't have a chance to elaborate on it, but today I want to make sure we're clear about it. It, for those that were doing that and cheering the fact that Matt Castle was hurt, that's, reprehens that's, that's reprehensible. That's disgusting. We know there's no room for people like that. We know there's people like that that exist. There are people, I mean, you've gotten threats, I've gotten oh, threats, because we on. talk sports. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with some people? Hey, but but, if, but if, are you, you really surprised, Steve? No, I'm not surprised. No, no, no. I didn't say I was surprised. 
I didn't say I'm okay. surprised. I'm saying I'm not surprised. What I'm saying to you, however, is that let's take it back to football because this is where Eric Winston and the Kansas City Chiefs have to accept some degree of culpability. I'm going to assume that, by and large, most God-fearing people, along with, and obviously most of them, a lot of them are fans, would never root for somebody that's being injured. But they can be so disgusted that as long as you get up off that field and you walk off, good riddance, we don't want to see you anymore. Now, let's look at Kansas City. Taking away their 10 and 6 season in 2010, the one good year that Matt Castle had. Since 2007, 4 and 12, 2 and 14, 4 and 12. They started out 4 and 7 last year before they finished 7 and 9. Can I throw one other stat at you? Yeah, sure. 19 years with no playoff. That's game? right. Wow. Exactly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm talking about when you talk about years. as passionate as these fans are, their level of frustration. I mean, it is entirely plausible that they were looking at Matt Castle and saying, you know, God bless him, I hope he's okay. But boy, I hope he doesn't. He, he's not well enough to come back and throw in this football game. We are tired of seeing him. And if you take it from that premise, it is what it is. Okay, you think That's it's wrong it if Brady Quinn trots onto the field while the doctors are still examining Matt Castle. Yes. You cheer for Brady Quinn. I, I think it's wrong if you have the mentality that you don't care if Matt Castle is hurt. But, but, but the problem... I think that's wrong. But I don't have a problem with you saying, I hope he's okay, but boy, I hope he's so not you know our quarterback. What, Steve, I don't read it like that. I don't think at all that anybody, I really don't believe anybody wants Matt Castle to be hurt. I didn't say no, that. No, I just said that. I, but I'm saying this. They, if, if that's the only way that he can get him out of the game, meaning that the coaches won't make the change, and that's the way, that's what they're cheering is, okay, finally, he's knocked out. They have no, no choice but to put Brady Quinn in. Finally, we get same, what we saying, want. We're saying the same thing. All I'm saying is, is that anybody who would root for a player to be hurt... What I'm saying to you, this, I don't believe anybody I'm, is doing that. I don't believe that. But you're not that. letting me finish my thought to understand okay. what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying to you that anybody who's rooting for a player to be hurt in any capacity is wrong. But it is entirely acceptable to me to root for a guy not to be in the game. I don't want to see this guy playing. He stinks. I don't want him anymore as my quarterback. <laughs> Please be okay. Go home with your family. Go play for another team. As a matter of fact, I hope you're good enough to go play for Denver or San Diego or <laughs> Oakland so we can count that as two victories when we play against you. I don't mind somebody having that attitude. That's entirely different than wishing harm on somebody, on another human being. Uh, That's all I'm saying. I'm curious if, if, if Jets fans would, would have cheered Monday night if we would have got to Sanchez. Mm. I'm curious. There's an element. I don't think so. They don't, roll, they don't roll like that. I don't, they, mean, they, I don't, they, I don't mean the 70,000 or the 7,000. Here's what Jet but. fans wish for, that, that Rex Ryan and Mike Tannenbaum and those boys had the courage to make the change. Yeah. In other words, we, I want you, you, I don't know if Rex Ryan and those boys can look us in the face and legitimately say, with the weapons they've given Mark Sanchez yeah. to work with, that he is definitively our best chance to win. Not, I'm not comparing Tebow and, and Mark Sanchez, because I think Mark Sanchez is obviously a significantly better quarterback. Right. I'm saying you don't have the weapons, and because it's Tebow's skill set, you need to be able to look at the Jets and say, my stubbornness is not getting in the way. Yeah. I'm going to make the best and, decision. And can I say this? The other part is, Castle, you just talked about the play, no playoff wins in 19 years and what they've gone on. Well, at least Sanchez, Sanchez has, has four won. road playoff wow. wins, yeah. so it puts him on a little different plateau. Jet fans have been to the AFC Championship twice in the last three years. Yeah, and can I ask one last question? Why do we keep evaluating fans in the NFL stands as if they're clergymen. Like, like we, we lift them up. Yeah, like, we, like we they're say, supposed to behave yeah, a certain like, way. Oh, they're how to dare you? Stand. Well, well, NFL fans wait a second. Always, yeah. They've wait always a carried themselves they, a They've way. been imbibing. Yeah. They, they play violent video games, right? I'm, I'm not trying to stereotype all the fans, but I'm sure a lot of them... They, they enjoy the violence, so, yeah. so they're desensitized. We, we do it, we talk about it on this well, show. Well, well, they... the reason why, to answer your yeah. question directly, is because when you have athletes 
responding to that, it gives you insight into the mindset of an athlete going out there on the field to perform in this kind of environment. What they're saying is, here you are, meaning the media, I'm not trying to blame, mm -hmm. but when they say the media, lots of times you have professional athletes pointing the finger at the quote-unquote media, which you and I have always disagreed with them about and lamented that state of affairs, but they point the finger at the media because they're saying that the media yeah. isn't pointing out the microcosm of, success, of society and how it parallels yeah. with professional sports. Right. It's like if you point out how sick these dudes are in the stands, maybe you can understand why our attitude is the way it is yep. in public sometimes because these are the kind of people that we're running across. Yep. But we don't highlight that. Nope. And, I, and, I, and I agree with professional athletes about that. Well, I, I got to congratulate Eric Winston. He managed to take the entire focus off a one in four football team yep. under this issue. He sure did. Way to go, Eric. Way to go. Speaking of mindsets of athletes, James Harrison says he took it a little easy on Michael Vick because he was afraid to be fined. Someone at this debate desk is extremely surprised by that. We'll discuss that coming up. Who's surprised by that? That's Bun B, I think. Is that Bun B? Might be. You're surprised? <laughs> he said, might might don't be. give it away. Might be. <laughs> it may be. It's a tease. That's good, Bundy. Keep it here. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. Let yourself go.